Hey there, Pyromaniacs. I have something to admit to you guys. I'm a bit of a huge Digimon fan. I've been a fan of the series for pretty much as long as I can remember. I was really captivated by the fact that it was a show sort of like Pokemon, but with a focus on technology and traveling to different alien worlds. Also, when I was really young, I was also really dumb and initially got into it because I thought it was a spinoff of Pokemon. So, yeah. The thing is, when you're a kid growing up in the mid to late 2000s in the suburbs of North Texas, Digimon products weren't exactly the easiest thing to come by. So what have I, a responsible adult with a disposable income, done? Compensate, of course. But back when I was a kid, I remember pining for the Digimon video games, and I searched every store in town for them. I desperately wanted to try the Digimon RPGs on the DS that were out at the time. Sadly, those games were completely out of my reach. But one game that I managed to track down and successfully beg my parents to buy for me was Digimon World Championship. Digimon World Championship, or just Digimon Championship in Japan, puts you in the shoes of a Digimon tamer who's trying to build up a large enough team of powerful Digimon to take on the Digimon Championship that happens every four years. And that's all the story you get. This isn't an RPG like the other Digimon games on the DS, but is instead a virtual pet sim. You feed your Digimon, clean their waste, pet them, and FORCE THEM TO BATTLE WITH FELLOW KIM. So yeah, the game pretty much functions exactly like the old V-Pets. But unlike the V-Pets, you can actually go and hunt more Digimon by going to different areas and lassoing different Digimon in a way not dissimilar to Pokemon Ranger. Every area has a different set of Digimon for you to bring home and tame. You unlock more areas to go to as you progress through the game by battling teams of Digimon in title matches. Title matches are battles that allow you to increase a rank, and with each rank, you unlock more areas, cages, and items for your Digimon. The thing is, each title match only lasts a single in-game day, and has certain requirements that your Digimon have to meet, and if they don't, well, better luck next year. This means you have to plan ahead for each match, and with how many matches there are in a year, this can stack up and quickly become very stressful if you're not careful. Just like with the Digimon V-Pets, your Digimon will evolve as time passes depending on different requirements such as attributes, battles won, and Digi-Egg reversions. You will undoubtedly encounter a moment where you're about to enter a title match when all of a sudden one of your Digimon that you were about to use ends up digivolving or reverting into a Digimon that no longer meets the requirements of the title match. You could just hunt for a new Digimon that fills the requirements, but freshly caught Digimon have much lower stats than those that you've been training, evolving, and reverting for a long time. And even then, you can only challenge the title for a certain period of time each day, so you could end up running out the clock and missing your chance. It's inevitable that you're gonna hit a certain point in the game where you're gonna find yourself juggling several Digimon, keeping track of their stats to ensure that each one digivolves into the Digimon you need for multiple upcoming title matches. And next thing you know, it's the championship qualifiers and you are not ready. Yeah, it's a lot. But if you don't stress about it and just play the game at your own leisure, just working to get the Digimon you want for no reason other than you think they look cool, you'll probably have a good time with this game. It's a perfectly fine expansion of the classic V-Pet formula, and if that sounds interesting to you, then you might as well give it a try. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a like and become a Pyromaniac yourself by subscribing. Till next time, stay nerdy, my friends.